it should be evident that in this age, we need to resource those generous aspects of our civilization, those which are more dialogical, those which are able to be flexible, those which do not hammer home the strictest interpretations of fiqh, but find dispensations for people who are really challenged and struggling in a fast-moving, modern, complicated, weird, canary wharf. Mm. This is where people are. Logic and the purpose of religion, the maqasid of the sharia, indicates that we should be making things easier. And that's the prophetic commandment. Yassiru wa la tu'assiru, he used to say. Uh, Bashiru wa la tunafiru. It's a commandment in a sound hadith. Make things easier, don't make them harder. Give people good news, don't repel them. Nowadays, a certain type of traumatized, furious, enraged Muslim soul is not happy with that and wants to turn it around. Let's look for the hardest possible interpretation. And when I found it, let me spend the whole afternoon on YouTube attacking people for not following the strictest possible interpretation. And then perhaps some peace comes to my soul because I'm feeling superior, at least to somebody. Um, it's not really real religion. The Holy Prophet's instruction is clear. Make things easier, don't make them harder. مَا خُيَّرَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ بَيْنَ أَمْرَيْنِ إِلَّا وَاخْتَارَ أَيْسَرَهُمَا مَا لَمْ يَكُنْ فِهِ إِثْمٍ Never was the Holy Prophet, never, the Hadith says, given the choice between two things, but that he chose the easier of them, as long as there was no sin in it. Nowadays we're a little bit suspicious of people like that. Sometimes even this Deobandi Brailvi thing looks like an exercise in competitive narrowness. Uh, that's not real religion. Read Imam al-Ghazali, Kitab Dham al ghurur in the Ihya to see how he hammers scholars who are competitively strict. This is not prophetic religion. This is just the ego playing tricks and making God's religion harder for people to carry, which is not the point. 